Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the Archie Luxury channel and the Poor Pluto channel. And today I want to talk about did I pay too much? Did I pay too much? And does it really matter? And I got to tell you, I got a good friend of mine. He's uh he's he's pretty well loaded, loaded. He's got 10 Rolexes, 10 modern Rolexes at least. And fancy Italian car. He's he's a he's a really nice guy. But he's concerned, did he pay too much? He recently ordered a red Sea Dweller. That's the new Rolex 43mm Sea Dweller with red writing. With the Cyclops. And every time he rings me. Oh, I can always sell it for more. Oh, a, someone offered me more than I paid. And I'm thinking, I don't really care. He tells me he paid 10% above list. 10% above full retail for a Sea Dweller 43 mil. And he's so concerned, did he pay too much? And he justifies it to me. He goes, oh, so-and-so will pay me more. Oh, I think I did okay. Hey, you paid over the odds. And it's not going to change your life. What does it really matter? Does it really matter in the slightest and i gotta tell you i'm the same i recently purchased an iwc an ingy a, a uh, iwc 322701 and i'm also justifying it oh i paid too much oh i did this ah oh, i paid over retail i'm trying to justify the purchase and at the end of the day it's it's not too bad. I I I had a uh, a dealer in Melbourne watch trader. They offered me low fours. I think four two, four two for the piece. Uh, I paid five. Pa okay, I paid eight hundred Aussie dollars too much. Eight hundred Aussie dollars too much. But mine is box papers complete with service receipt. And uh, who cares? Who cares if I paid a little bit too much? The thing is, do I love the watch? Do I enjoy wearing it? Does it make me happy? Does it put a smile on the Archie Luxury dial? That's what's important. Does it do that? And that's all that really matters. Sometimes in life, yeah, you can pay too much. The only thing worse than paying too much is paying too little and getting the cheap, nasty one. The one with the big gouge on it or the one that doesn't keep good time or the one that's been... Got some nasty scratches on it. And at the end of the day, don't worry too much if you paid a bit too much. Does it really, really, really matter? Now, if you're continually buying and selling these things, well, you'd hope that you wouldn't be paying too much each time because you would be losing money. But if you did buy a watch for yourself and you paid a little bit too much for it, well, who cares? Life is short. Why are you going to waste time continually talking about, hey, I paid too much, I paid too much, trying to justify it yourself? I mean, does every deal need to be a mean, lean deal? Does it need to be the greatest deal you could possibly? Is every deal the art of the deal, to quote Donald Trump, our fearless leader? Is, does every deal need to be the art of the deal? And if we pay too much, ah, oh, heaven only knows what will happen if we pay too much for a watch. And i got to say this to you. I mean, sometimes in life, you look at a watch, you like it, and you say, hey, I'll pay it. I'll buy it. I'll just buy it. Just buy it. Just buy it. And it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really, really matter. It's um, it's very important that you feel comfortable with what you're buying. You've got to be happy. You've got to be cheery. You've got to look at life and say, hey, you know, these things make me happy. Sometimes you get great deals. Other times, hey, you pay a bit more. That's just how life goes. That is how life goes. Um... This is, this is the important thing to realize. It's very, very important that you people don't worry too much 
about the absolute cheapest, the absolute leanest, meanest deal, combo deal. It doesn't matter. As long as the watch makes you happy, you get enjoyment out of it. Doesn't matter what other morons think. It's what you think. Do you like it? Does it make you happy? And are you glad you got it? That's all that matters. You don't need to justify these things. Why do we need approval from so-called friends and associates? And the re reality is, if you actually tried to lend money off these people, they'd tell you where to get stuffed. They would tell you to get stuffed. They, <coughs> they would back out of trying to lend you money. They would say, no, no, I can't lend you. I can't lend you $500. I can't lend you 5000 no, I can't do it. I can't do that. That's what they would say. They really, really aren't, you know, people. Why do you want the approval of these dead shits? And that's the question. And I, I myself do it myself. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I gotta say, you know, I, I can't claim uh, martyr status here. I've been just as bad. I've bought bought my Inji and I, I've said, Oh, I paid too much. Do you think I pay? Who cares? Okay, you paid too much. You paid $800 too much, okay? This is a mean, lean dealer. A mean dealer who, he's going to make a profit. He would have bought it cheaper than you paid, but it wasn't offered. It was, it was, you wanted a mint, minty newish piece? You've got to pay the piper. So, at the end of the day, guys, buy what you love. If you've paid too much, hey, as long as you're not in the business of continually doing that, who really cares? I'm Archibald Chesterfield III. This has been, did I pay too much? A look at the ways that we have to justify everything. And we don't like paying too much. Archie Luxury, signing out. We specialize here in pre-owned Rolex watches. Rolex watch is a very special timepiece and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. We buy a pre-owned piece and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece, we adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car, you're just not going to bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent $5,000, it's like if you put money in the safe deposit box. And one or two years from now, you will keep having your $5,000. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. It's not a question of money, it's my passion. Jewelers on time, simply the best.